Russian leader Vladimir Putin has convened a meeting regarding the situation in the regions bordering Ukraine and demanded that Russia's defense ministry push the enemy out of Kursk Oblast. The defense ministry is definitely facing the main task of pushing the enemy out of our territories and, in coordination with the border service, ensure robust protection of the state border, he said. Putin also claimed that Ukraine seems to be trying to improve its future negotiating position. It is now clear why the Kiev regime refused our proposals to return to the plan for peaceful settlement, Putin said. The enemy, with the help of its Western masters, it is doing their bidding, and the West is waging war against us using Ukrainians, seeks to improve its negotiating position in the future. But what kind of negotiations can we even talk about with people who indiscriminately strike civilians, civilian infrastructure or try to create threats to nuclear power facilities, the president went on to say. What can we even talk about with them? He said that Russian armed forces are advancing along the entire line of combat engagement in the special operation zone. The pace of advancement of the Russian armed forces along the entire front has increased by 1.5 times. Kiev tried to destroy the cohesion of Russian society, but it failed, the number of those wishing to sign a contract with the Russian armed forces has increased, he said. The situation in the Kursk region is complicated, 28 settlements are under the control of Ukraine, Alexei Smirnov, acting governor of the Kursk region, said in a meeting with Putin. The fate of nearly 2,000 people from the province is unknown, he added. He added that Ukrainian forces had advanced 12 kilometers into Russian territory in an incursion that began on August 6. There is no clear front line in the Kursk region, which makes it difficult to determine the enemy's location, he said. Alexei Smirnov told that an anti-tank ditch has already been dug in the Kursk region for 40 kilometers. According to him, Sabotage groups with Russian documents are operating in the Kursk region. На сегодняшний день под контролем противника находится 28 населенных пунктов. Глубина проникновения на территорию Курской области составляет 12 километров. Ширина по фронту 40 километров. Это, послушайте, Алексей Борисович, это военное ведомство вам доложит, какая там ширина и глубина. Вы расскажите нам про социально-экономическую ситуацию и о помощи людям доложите. Да, но у нас 28. The evacuation of the residents of the Krasnoyarusky district of the Belgorod region has started since the morning of today. The governor of Belgorod region Vyacheslav Gladkov wrote the information on the Telegram channel. The enemy has become active on the border with Krasnoyarsk region. We are starting to move people living in Krasnoyarsk district to safe places to protect the lives and health of the population, he said. Gladkov did not specify how many people will be evacuated and where they will be taken. I am sure that our servicemen will do everything to cope with the threat that has arisen, Gladkov said. Some 11,000 people have been evacuated from the Krasnoyarsky district in Russia's Belgorod region due to activity by Ukrainian forces, a Russian official has said. District administration head Andrei Miskov said on the VK social media platform that residents left on buses headed for temporary accommodation, around 500 residents remain, he said. 
Krasnoye Ruzki district is located about 45 kilometers from the city of Sudza in the neighboring Kursk region, where the Ukrainian military entered on August 6. It is adjacent to the border of Ukraine on the western side, and Belovsky district of the Kursk region on the northern side. About the situation in the Belovsky district, the regional command center has decided to evacuate residents, Kursk governor Alexei Smirnov said on social media, referring to an area with a population of over 14,000 people. The audacious Ukrainian attacks on Russian sovereign territory are aimed at showing its Western supporters that Kiev can still muster major military operations while trying to gain a bargaining chip ahead of possible ceasefire talks.